Okay, welcome back. Uh, we will start the second part of this lecture and you can see part two, so we will continue with this lecture on unit three. So if you remember, it was painted by Banksy. So remember, for this grammar part, we are talking about an object. So if you look at the picture, this is some um, graffiti wall art. And we can talk about the art. So it was painted by Banksy. So who did it? Banksy painted it. So in this in this unit, we are practicing the passive, and we want to talk about the object, not the subject. So the subject is the person or thing that is doing something, and the object is the art or item like that. So it was painted by Banksy. Let's start by looking at the language practice. So this is starting on page 18. So first we will listen to uh, some passive sentences and some active sentences. You can compare these. Page 18. Language practice. Passives. Passive. It was painted by my grandmother. Active. My grandmother painted it. Passive. His paintings are enjoyed by millions of people. Active. Millions of people enjoy his paintings. Passive. Was that done by your grandmother? Active. Did your grandmother do that? Passive. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Active. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Passive. Who was that sculpture made by? Active. Who made that sculpture? Passive. It was made by Michelangelo. Active. Michelangelo made it. Okay, so let's look. Uh, we have passive on the left and active on the right. Uh, let's listen one more time and you can follow the examples. Page 18. Language practice. Passives. Passive. It was painted by my grandmother. Active. My grandmother painted it. Passive. His paintings are enjoyed by millions of people. Active. Millions of people enjoy his paintings. Passive. Was that done by your grandmother? Active. Did your grandmother do that? Passive. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Active. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Passive. Who was that sculpture made by? Active. Who made that sculpture? Passive. It was made by Michelangelo. Active. Michelangelo made it. Okay, so let's look at the first one. So in the passive, we are talking about the painting, it. It was painted by my grandmother. In the active, we are talking about my grandmother. What did she do? My grandmother painted it. In the passive, we are talking about his paintings. Maybe Mike Michelangelo. His paintings are enjoyed by millions of people. Here, we are talking about millions of people enjoy his paintings. Then the passive, was that done by your grandmother? 
So we want to ask about that. Maybe the painting. Was that done by your grandmother? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. In the active, did your grandmother do that? Yes, she did. So we're talking about my grandmother. And who was that sculpture made by? It was made by Michelangelo. So we want to know about the sculpture. And who made that sculpture? Michelangelo made it. So, after looking at the language practice, we can look at some examples. So, we looked at this one in the last part, at the end. So, what is it? What is it? It is a turtle ship. Who was it invented by? It was invented by Yi Sun Shin. Why was it invented? It was invented to fight in a war. So here you can see the picture and we want to talk about it. So it is the ship. It's the most important part of this, uh, these statements. So it was invented by Yi Sun Chin. It was invented to fight in a war. So the next picture, you can see a self-portrait. So this was one of the first Selka. What is it? It is a self-portrait. Who was it painted by? It was painted by... Vincent van Gogh. When was it painted? I've forgotten. Oh, so, uh, so when was it painted? Uh, one second. Okay, so we're back after pausing. Um, yep, and let's see. So what is it? Who was it painted by? When was it painted? So what is it we can check? Oh, here it is. Self-portrait. So it was painted by Van Gogh. When was it painted? We can see here 1889. So it was painted. It was painted in 1889. It was painted in 1889. Let's check the next picture. Okay, it's an Apple iPhone. What is it? It's a smartphone. Who was it invented by? I think you know this one. It was invented by Steve Jobs. It was invented in 2007. 2007. When is the new iPhone released? Mm, maybe September. So the new iPhone, it is, it will be released in September. It will be released in September. Uh, how about this? What is it? It is. Hengel. It, it is Hengel. Who was it invented by? So it was invented by, we cannot see, uh, uh, Sejong the Great. It was invented by Sejong the Great. When was it invented? It was invented in 1444. And why was it created? Why was it created? So it was created to make it easier for Koreans to read. Hanja is very difficult. Hangul is more easy. 
It's easier to learn, so it's easier to read. So it was created to help people read. So let's look at page 18. We can see some practice examples. You can see first the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa. Paint. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. So here we can write the correct form of the verb that we find in the parentheses. So paint, sell, produce, create. So the Mona Lisa, paint. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci's paintings now, so these days, sell. Da Vinci's paintings are sold for millions of dollars now. The Mona Lisa was painted by Da Vinci. Da Vinci's paintings are sold for millions of dollars now. Today, so these days, most oil paints produce, are sold, is produced. Paint is produced in factories. And number four is a question. Was Michelangelo's David created in Italy? So when it's a question, we have to break it. So Michelangelo's David was created in Italy is the answer. And let's look at the next slide. So here we have to change the sentence. We have to rewrite the active sentences as passive sentences. So number one, Mexican President Porfirio Diaz ordered the construction of El Angel. So this is a statue in Mexico City. But we can talk in the passive, so the construction of El Angel. The construction of El Angel ordered. He ordered the construction. So the construction of El Angel was ordered by Mexican President Porfirio Diaz. Let's look at number two. Kim Bok Jin introduced modern sculpture to Korea. So here the action is introduced, ordered, introduced. The object is modern sculpture. And the person doing the action, Kim Bok Jin. So he or she introduced it to Korea. If you press pause and try to write the answer, then we can check. Press pause. So here the answer is modern sculpture was introduced to Korea by Kim Bok Jin. So it was introduced to Korea. Modern sculpture was introduced to Korea by Kim Bok Jin. Let's look at number three. Oscar Niemeyer, oh, I can't say his name, Oscar Niemeyer, he's a famous architect. So he designed many buildings in Brasilia, Brazil. So the object, many buildings. The action designed, oops, I showed the answer, and the person doing the action, Oscar Niemeyer. So try to write your answer below if you press pause now. If you finished writing, we can check the answer. So many buildings in Brasilia were designed by Oscar Niemeyer. Niemeyer. <laughs> oh, difficult. So many buildings were designed by Oscar Niemeyer. The buildings are in Brazil. 
And then number four, the Takanaka Corporation completed Tokyo Tower in 1958. So the object Tokyo Tower completed the action and the Takanaka Corporation is the company. Press pause and try to write your answer. Okay, so we should have Tokyo Tower was completed in 1958. Tokyo Tower was completed by the Takanaka Corporation in 1958. So here we were changing the subject to the object and making the object modern sculpture. Many buildings, Tokyo Tower, they became the main point, the subject of the sentence. So, moving on, we will look at page 19, and here you can see three pictures. Pottery collection, sculpture gallery, and modern architecture. So, architecture like a building. So the first picture is modern architecture. It's a modern building. It's a modern building. Uh, I think it's the Guggenheim. Number two, there are some people and they are looking at some history. Uh, I don't know where they are. Maybe it's Europe. There's some statues. This is a sculpture gallery or sculpture museum. And then the last picture shows some pottery. So it's a pottery collection. In our listening exercise, we are going to listen to three guides talking about famous museums. So first, if you listen and try to choose the correct Answer. So the Guggenheim, the Uffizi Gallery, and the National Palace Museum. So one, the Guggenheim was designed by Frank Gehry or Frank Lloyd Wright. So who designed the Guggenheim? The Uffizi Gallery was built for the Medici family or the Botticelli family. So who was the Uffizi Gallery built for? And then three... The National Palace Museum is filled with Chinese art or Italian art. So what is the National Palace Museum filled with? Chinese art or Italian art? Let's listen and you can check your answers. Page 19. Listening. Listen to the three guides talking about famous museums. Choose the correct phrase to complete the sentence. One. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Guggenheim Museum in exciting New York City. This is truly one of the most beautiful buildings ever built. Before we start the tour, are there any questions? Yes. This architecture is amazing. Can you tell us about it? Certainly. The building itself is art. It was designed in the 1940s. At that time, Modernism was important. It's an amazing space. Who was the architect? It was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. Excuse me, we can't hear you back here. It was designed by who? Frank Lloyd Wright. F-R-A-N-K-L-L-O-Y-D-W-R-I G-H-T. Got it. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, the Guggenheim has a great collection of modern art. Some really wonderful abstract paintings are displayed here. For example, if you'll follow me this way, we can see an excellent... Two. So, welcome to Florence, Italy. My name is Pietro, and I want to welcome you to the Uffizi Gallery.
one of the oldest and most beautiful art galleries in the world. Now, before we begin... Oh, sorry, Pietro. Can I ask a question? Of course. Thanks. Uh, this building, it is beautiful. I'd like to know more about it. Was it built as an art gallery? Good question. The answer is no. It was not built as an art gallery. But it is very old and has a lot of Italian history. This is actually a palace, and it was built for the Medici family. The word uffizi means offices. The Medici family used it as an office for important meetings. Really? When was that? About 500 years ago. Then they began to fill it with art, and in 1765, the Uffizi was reopened as an art gallery. Any other questions? Yeah, is this where the Mona Lisa is? Actually, no. That's in France. But there are paintings here by many other famous Italian artists throughout history, like Caravaggio and Botticelli. There are also some great Dutch and German paintings. So, let's continue. 3. Hello, and welcome to the National Palace Museum of Taipei. My name is Lee, and in a moment, we'll start our tour of the museum. But first, are there any questions? When did the museum open? Well, the museum is relatively new. It opened in the 1960s and... But the building looks like it's hundreds of years old. Actually, it may look old, but it's not. The building itself was built in 1965. Any other questions? Yes. It looks big. How many items are here? About 700,000. That is what makes the museum special. The National Museum has one of the largest collections of Chinese art in the world. So how many items are on display? There is enough space to display 15,000, and the displays are changed every three months. That means, if you come four times a year, you can see everything in about 15 years. Now, if you follow me this way, you'll see. Okay, so the Guggenheim was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. The Uffizi Gallery was built for the Medici family. And the National Palace Museum is filled with Chinese art. With Chinese art. Okay. Uh, we're going to do another exercise with the listening. So we can listen again. And try to complete the chart. So the Guggenheim. The Uffizi Gallery. And the National Palace Museum. Where is it? The Uffizi Gallery is in Florence. Is the building old or new? The Guggenheim is old. And what makes it special? The National Palace Museum has a large collection. So let's listen and if you try to fill in the missing words. Page 19. Listening. Listen to the three guides talking about famous museums. Choose the correct phrase to complete the sentence. One. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Guggenheim Museum in exciting New York City. This is truly one of the most beautiful buildings ever built. Before we start the tour, are there any questions? Yes. This architecture is amazing. Can you tell us about it? Certainly. The building itself is art. It was designed in the 1940s. At that time, Modernism was important. It's an amazing space. Who was the architect? It was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. Excuse me! We can't hear you back here! It was designed by who? Frank Lloyd Wright. F-R-A-N-K-L-L-O-Y-D-W-R-I G-H-T. Got it. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, the Guggenheim has a great collection of modern art. 
some really wonderful abstract paintings are displayed here. For example, if you'll follow me this way, we can see an excellent... 2. So, welcome to Florence, Italy. My name is Pietro, and I want to welcome you to the Uffizi Gallery, one of the oldest and most beautiful art galleries in the world. Now, before we begin... Oh, sorry, Pietro. Can I ask a question? Of course. Thanks. Uh, this building, it is beautiful. I'd like to know more about it. Was it built as an art gallery? Good question. The answer is no. It was not built as an art gallery, but it is very old and has a lot of Italian history. This is actually a palace, and it was built for the Medici family. The word Uffizi means offices. The Medici family used it as an office for important meetings. Really? When was that? About 500 years ago. Then they began to fill it with art, and in 1765, the Uffizi was reopened as an art gallery. Any other questions? Yeah, is this where the Mona Lisa is? Actually, no. That's in France. But there are paintings here by many other famous Italian artists throughout history, like Caravaggio and Botticelli. There are also some great Dutch and German paintings. So, let's continue. 3. Hello, and welcome to the National Palace Museum of Taipei. My name is Lee, and in a moment, we'll start our tour of the museum. But first, are there any questions? When did the museum open? Well, the museum is relatively new. It opened in the 1960s and... But the building looks like it's hundreds of years old. Actually, it may look old, but it's not. The building itself was built in 1965. Any other questions? Yes. It looks big. How many items are here? About 700,000. That is what makes the museum special. The National Museum has one of the largest collections of Chinese art in the world. So how many items are on display? There is enough space to display 15,000, and the displays are changed every three months. That means, if you come four times a year, you can see everything in about 15 years. Now, if you follow me this way, you'll see. Okay, so where is it? So where is the Guggenheim? The Guggenheim is in New York. Is the building old or new? It's old. And what makes it special? So the building is art. So the building is very beautiful. It's an, arc, uh, an artistic piece of architecture. And number two, the Uffizi Gallery. Where is it? It is in Florence. Is the building old or new? It's old. And what makes it special? So it was built as offices. So originally, the Uffizi Gallery was built as offices for the Medici family. Then later, it was converted, it was changed to become an art gallery. And three, where is the National Palace Museum? It is in Taipei. Is the building old or new? It is new, but it looks old. It's designed to look old. And what makes it special? It has a very large collection of Chinese art. So there's enough space to display 15,000 pieces of art. And it means if you come four times a year, you can see everything in 15 years. So there's a lot of art. Okay, so today we studied about passive voice. 
So when we want to talk about some art, and not the person who is making the art, we can say it was made by somebody. So the Guggenheim was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. The Uffizi Gallery was built for the Medici family. And the National Palace Museum was built in 1965. So we can talk about the object, not the person or people doing the action. Okay, so we are going to finish our video there. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you want to check the grammar, because it's quite difficult, uh, you can check in the book uh, on page 127 to get some more examples. Okay, but stay safe and see you next time.